Senator Kamala Harris making the claim also repeatedly many times since that women are bleeding out in parking lots when there isn't a shred of evidence of a single woman well, bleeding out in the parking Well, there was actually. Lot. Well, actually. It's no secret to anyone at this point, I don't think, that CNN and most of the rest of the media are nothing more than an extension of the Democrat Party and the Harris campaign. Exhibit A, this CNN host, Casey Hunt, who is apparently so deluded, she thinks she can pull one over on Vivek Ramaswamy, who, by the way, has proven to be quite the asset when it comes to exposing just how corrupt our media has become. <laughs> The kinds of issues I explore in my book, focusing on the substance rather than in the mudslinging that we sometimes see in the media-driven, fueled, social media-fueled political discourse, we need to speak about stone-cold hard truths and have that debate even when it's uncomfortable in the open. That's how I think we're going to save the country. It's a big part of why I wrote this book. And I also think that I'd like to see that standard applied a little more even-handedly across the board. In that same debate, you had Kamala Harris making the claim also repeatedly many times since that women are bleeding out in parking lots when there isn't a shred of evidence of a single woman well, bleeding out in the parking lot Well, there was actually a, a woman who died in Georgia who, um, because she, there were two women in fact, um, one in particular who couldn't receive uh, the care that she needed. There's oh, well, allow me to retort. <laughs> of course. Instead of responding to this obvious charge of bias and not fact-checking Kamala Harris, she immediately circles the wagons and starts defending Kamala Harris with outright lies about two women supposedly dying because of the Georgia abortion laws. It's not true! It's not true! As I'm sure you all suspect, CNN is not alone in spreading this lie. This ABC News article claims in the headline that the deaths are definitely linked to the laws, then goes on to explain that one woman died supposedly because of a long hospital wait after complications from taking abortion pills. The other was a woman with, quote, lupus, diabetes, and hypertension who took abortion pills she ordered online, and an autopsy found that she had ingested a lethal combination of painkillers. It's a sad story that I wouldn't wish on anyone one but it reminds me of how the media and Democrats would blame anybody who died with COVID of dying of COVID. By the way, ABC wants to make sure that you all know that these abortion pills are totally safe. So it's pretty clear that they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. There's no um, evidence of a woman bleeding out in a parking lot. My but is point there, is the is kind there of evidence, that's used have you seen the evidence of Haitian migrants eating pets? Like if we're gonna talk about evidence, have you seen evidence of Haitian migrants eating pets? Having gone to Springfield, I didn't see that evidence. But what I will tell you is I'm bringing that up because you brought up the Haitian migrant point, there are residents in the community that had pointed to that. There isn't even that level of a shred of evidence to support a single woman in the United States bleeding out in a parking lot. Yet that's been a repeated claim made by Kamala Harris. It's all just lies done in the service of their party in order to save democracy because democracy is on the ballot. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't it democracy that got these abortion restrictions voted into law? Yes! And just so we're clear here, I think that abortion should be legal because there are legitimate reasons that women need to get them. I do think that society should discourage it instead of promoting it out of convenience. Anyway, I just find it hilarious that the CNN hack would immediately just start lying in defense of Kamala Harris after being accused of bias and not fact-checking her. It's very clear that in the past and especially going forward that none of these people in the free press are going to scrutinize her or other Democrats for our democracy. What's not hilarious are the implications of that because it shows there are no guardrails when it comes to Kamala Harris or other Democrats for that matter because they're all brainwashed with this rationalization that they can use to justify literally anything. What do you all think? Am I out of my mind or am I on to something? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.